Hey guys, Pete Kluzak for Bass University TV on the water. We're doing on water training today and um, I want to talk about a bait that is really, it's kind of coming back to be honest with you. I don't know why it ever went away, but for a, for a while uh, we didn't hear anything about the spinnerbait. Uh, the spinnerbait um, just wasn't winning tournaments. The pros weren't using it a lot, but uh, the chatterbait came along. And chatterbait's a dynamite tool, but I think chatterbait uh, fishing kind of um, got anglers confused about when they should be throwing a chatterbait and when they should be throwing a spinnerbait. And the spinnerbait kind of got lost in the mix, but we're seeing it come back. We're seeing the spinnerbait play, play a major role in, uh, in tournament fishing these days. And I love fishing a spinnerbait. Spinnerbait is a great, great weapon. Um, when do I throw a spinnerbait? A spinnerbait is often a bait that I'm going to use when I have wind conditions. Anytime I've got a lot of bait fish around, when flash is going to be key. Those bait fish are giving off a lot of flash. Spinnerbait gives off more flash than any other tool that we use. So I'm definitely going to want to be throwing a spinnerbait in those conditions. But there's something about wind and a spinnerbait. Now, a lot of guys don't like fishing in the wind. I love fishing in the wind. The wind makes that bass's strike zone get huge. It goes from in a brilliant sunshine, it gets real tight and small. Windy conditions, it gets real big. The fish will chase. And that's a great time to use a moving bait, great time to use a bait like a spinner bait that's given off a lot of flash. So uh, I use it then. I like to use it, man, I'm using it anywhere from crystal clear water to pure mud. And that's pretty impressive. Uh, now I will change the, the tools that I use a little bit, the blade configuration, the colors, the, um, the weights that I'm using in different conditions. But boy, you know, it's, it's, it's uncommon to find a tool that can be equally effective in muddy water situations as well as crystal clear water situations. So I like a spinnerbait. But what I'm gonna talk about today uh, on today's On Water uh, episode is about something that I do that's a, a little, that I found to be a little unique uh, because I hadn't been doing it for years and years. When I started fishing spinnerbaits, I fished this, right? A white shad looking bait, silver blades. Let's take this Terminator out of the pack so you can get a better look at it. I don't know how well you can see it right through the camera there, through the camera lens. But uh, silvery willow blades, Colorado in the front, or maybe a double willow combination a shad pattern, uh, that's a great little combination. In off-colored water, I'd use, you know, this is a tortoise shell, Colorado blade, something with a bigger thump, but again, gold and silver combinations. So that's what I used almost all the time. Gold and silver, 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 silver and gold, uh, and varying between willows and Colorados. and and. Uh, then, you know, what happened was painted, uh, painted blades came out. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.